With its infamous symptoms of rashes, lameness, and swollen joints, the mere thought of Lyme disease is enough to terrify dog owners. But as we'll see, the situation might not be as scary as you've been led to believe. Before we look at why, be sure to click subscribe and hit the little bell icon below so you don't miss any other helpful videos. Now, before we get to the truth about Lyme disease for dogs, let's make sure we understand how they get Lyme disease in the first place. Lyme disease is caused by a spiral-shaped bacterium called Borrelia burgdorferi. This bacterium is transmitted to your dog when an infected tick bites him. The telltale symptoms of Lyme disease in dogs include arthritis or lameness, and that lasts about three to four days, loss of appetite, depression, reluctance to move, swollen joints, pain, fever, fatigue, and swollen lymph nodes. While there are many species of ticks, Lyme disease is usually carried by deer ticks, western black-legged ticks, and lone star ticks. It's important to understand that Lyme disease isn't caused by the tick itself. We'll get into more detail about that later. So what if I told you that Lyme disease isn't all that common and that dogs aren't that likely to get it even when infected with the bacteria? It turns out this is exactly the case. In one study at the University of Pennsylvania, researchers infected beagles with Lyme disease, yet none of the adult dogs showed any symptoms of the disease. Then they used beagle puppies, since puppies have weaker immune systems than adult dogs. The puppies showed about four days of transient symptoms like fever and lameness, but after those four days of on and off symptoms, the pups became asymptomatic. This means their bodies cleared the infection without any treatment. So it seems that exposure to Lyme disease is common, but the disease itself isn't. In some areas in New England, 70 to 90% of healthy dogs are Lyme positive, even though they aren't sick. They merely test positive for the antibodies. So it turns out that these infamous Lyme disease symptoms are rarely caused by Lyme itself. In most cases, Lyme disease only occurs when there's a co-infection. A co-infection is when a host, perhaps your dog, has one or more bacteria, viruses, or other infections at the same time. So of course, the next question is what these underlying cofactors are. This is where it gets weird. Swiss researcher, Dr. Thomas Rao, discovered that certain vaccines were cofactors for Lyme disease, and that includes the tick-borne vaccine. Now, it isn't known whether the Lyme vaccine for dogs is a cofactor, and that's because they conducted research on the human population. And there's no Lyme vaccine for humans. The Limerick's human Lyme disease vaccine was pulled off the market after 18 months because of serious adverse events, and because the vaccine may have caused Lyme-like arthritis and they have not developed a new Lyme vaccine for humans since. Did you catch that? They pulled the human Lyme vaccine from the market because of safety concerns. Yet, vaccination for Lyme disease is still recommended for your dogs. Evidence is mounting that it could be this very vaccine that acts as a cofactor, allowing Lyme to progress from flu-like symptoms into a debilitating disease. There are also other important cofactors for Lyme disease, including chronic inflammation, immune suppression, other viruses, parasites, other bacteria and fungi, and heavy metals and toxins. So how do you prevent Lyme disease in your dog? Well, if there's one thing you should take away from this video, it's this. The more toxic your dog is, the more likely he is to suffer an exaggerated response to Lyme disease. Research shows it. 95% of dogs bitten by a tick will have either no symptoms or mild flu-like symptoms. For the 5% of dogs who get really sick, how can you blame the tick when the other 95% do fine? You can't. The problem was already there from a cofactor before the tick came along. The bacteria in the tick was just the final small blow to an already weakened immune system. While conventional veterinarians want you to protect your dog with toxic chemicals and vaccines, holistic vets know the secret to preventing Lyme disease in dogs is proactively building a healthy immune system. Bacteria and parasites only prey on weak animals, so a healthy immune system is what separates the 5% of dogs who get Lyme disease from the healthy 95%. So with that said, here are some tips to help bolster your dog's immune system. Feed a fresh, whole food, species-appropriate diet. Avoid any and all unnecessary vaccines. Avoid toxic heartworm, flea, and tick medications whenever possible. Work with a holistic vet to replace any conventional drugs, vaccines, and medications. 
Instead, choose holistic, natural options that won't harm the immune system. It's time to stop fearing Lyme disease. Instead, take that worry and refocus it on improving your dog's immune health. If you do that, research shows you'll likely never face the challenge of Lyme disease in your dog. Not to mention, you'll greatly improve his whole quality of life, not just prevent the effects of Lyme. If you have any more questions about Lyme disease for dogs, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe and visit dogsnaturallymagazine.com for more information. Thanks for watching.